Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved playthrough of the hardcore mod. It is time for Operation Burning Wheel. And that's another smash and grab mission. Just want to get some material because we want to build more predator armor. What can I say? I am greedy and need more armor. And Operation Burning Wheel is good for that. So we're going to do exactly that. 10 to 12 is easy. The problem that I'm seeing is the return fire. Is there another side trip? No. And our sword today will be the Space Wolves uh, that are coming in with uh, Frodo as a Specialist Assault, Bubble as a Grenadier, and uh, Euler as the Sharpshooter. Let's go, boys. Give them hell. Okay, so we've got four crates. Reinforcements in 12 turns. We have zero concealment. That's not good. Let's take a good look what we're dealing with. Okay, nothing. I don't want to trigger anything, so let's just stay where we are. I'm on it. Double overwatch. No problem, boss. Does this trigger? No. Does this trigger? triplet pack and they find themselves in a interesting cover position it's a good hit to here officer dies very nice trooper goes down before we're holo targeting the other trooper I want to save run and gun can we shotgun kill him? I don't want to move up. We're trying our luck. Okay. Fair enough. That was a long shot, but we managed to beat them. Get loot. Ooh, hyper reactive pupils. That is good. And another pack. Which is arguably not so good, but thankfully we got our run and gun. Roger that. How is that not a crit? Another flank, another day, another flank, another dead individual. Let's get that Viper. might want to move us. Sniper is in a good position with the exception that this here hampers our line of sight. I hope it's worth it. But at the same time we also need to move up. 
because we want to get crates, right? Nine turns. Still got a grenade, uh, one grenade. Run and gun is down though. I have to wonder. Double time. Potentially still double moving. Okay, that's good. Roger that. Single move and oiler. Will do. Can go over with a double move. Yeah, SMG Overwatch is not really good, but I remember that when we were doing the setup for this mission, we barely managed to get that 100% infiltrate, like by the skin of our teeth. Solid cut. One, two, three. Fourth one is upstairs. Look, sniper's going to uh, double move in. And Frodo moves over here, so we can take that crate. Oh, apparently another pack somewhere. Pick that up. Got something new. We could go through here, up here, get the crate and move out. Or we're leaving it with three crates. Or we're getting up here. Oh, there is no letter, is there? Oh, we can't get up. Oh, we can't get up. That is a bit of a problem. So Adventure says open roofs now without letters. Look, I don't want to break the immersion here, but well, that's a bit bullshit. Don't you think so? Like, they are okay with ranges coming in. And, like, no one is saying something. For instance, there is a construction floor. Because a single drone could just come in from the top. Okay, so we can't get to the rooftop. We would need to get out and take the take the route on the back. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if we want to get greedy. Aren't three cages good enough? Just for a pristine good mission. Four reinforcements are coming in. Or should we push it? and force the high ground I hope it's worth it. is this you're triggering something We can see relatively far, so I'm going. let's just do a sneaky, sneaky oiler special movement. Rolling. This area is hot. Someone is coming from the right hand side. Let's hope we're not triggering them. Euler. 
steals the cookies and let's not get caught with our hands right in the cookie jar Let's try to move out. Okay, they are definitely at the entrance of the building. Done. Open door. Well, we could at least get to here. Let's just double check, is there a pack here? There is not. Which means all of this here. Let's just ask carefully moving out and... Do we get a PCS or something? Sort of crit chance increased? Sure, why not? Alright. Well, never mind. Not getting anywhere. Nice moving. Commander, we're losing the AO and our forces in the process. I'd strongly advise we consider pulling the squad out of there. Dash. I, Bradford, that was the most random and yet content-wise incorrect comment that you have done in a while. Like based on based on what did you come to that assessment? We've taken zero damage. We had three more turns. We were close to the evac zone. And your reading of uh, the situation was, yeah, you're doing really bad. I think you're going to lose this one. No wonder you were looking for a commander. Because, God forbid that you are ever leading the uh, forces into battle. With those assessments, it's going to be a black day for XCOM. Euler. I like long watch. I also like low profile, to be honest. And, and for longer uh, fights, the whole uh, tracking or targeting thing isn't bad either. Very good. Space Wolves. Uh, seven Elerium, a data pad, lots of supplies. Hyper reactive pupils is good. Okay, so next question besides besides being short on recruits did we have uh, yeah that's already infiltrated can't do anything there ultramarines are going gray knights are going can't go to the black side okay we're on top of uh, the missions that we can do I wanted to recruit our next psionic character, Gianese. And let's maybe keep our scientists actually working on the research because look, Gianese, four days. 
with one. We're looking at what? Two days, yeah. Okay, it's definitely just linear 50%. Just out of curiosity, is this here ed additive or multiplicative? So we're looking at two days, so it's multi uh, multiplicative. Uh, we're uh, having s minus 75% instead of minus 100%, uh, percent, so not halving, but essentially 60%. Okay, well, that's fine. Do what you want to do. We got a new Psy operative coming. So far, super happy with the Psy operatives. They are absolutely fantastic. Good, we could go for battle armor or mobile armor. Mobile armor is good, it's really good. Or we're going for magnetic weapons, which I think is the right call here. Just getting a bit of an uh, of a power upgrade. Stun Lancer for swords isn't bad either though. Let's go with magnetic weapons. While most of my involvement in the chip development soon training center is there, which is good. I can't help but feel some degree of responsibility for the final product as we see it in use today. When intently Okay, so We do have a little bit more intel that we could get here. We're good. Nine on intel, nine on recruiting. Seven and two. We could also expand um, or build a tower. This is here, like that's a hundred intel only. That one has been reduced into cost, so both of them are actually uh, fairly available for us. I wanted noble cost because will recovery is faster is great, but that requires a turret, uh, a tower here to then um, actually go there. And that is a, that isn't bad either getting there so let's start making contact commander we've utilized all of our available communications capacity we can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems attempting to establish local regional contact two days Prevent a resistance data leak. Well, not in two days. Operation uh, Diamond Hole is pretty much a not not a good operation. And we've now reached baseline activity nineteen to twenty one because we're like what vigilance nineteen. <laughs> uh, new. No, thank you. Got a new Shinobi, that also means John Williams here can become something. Let's do class check. Shinobi, one, two, three, four, five. Still need another Shinobi, so that'll be okay. Uh, six Shinobi is already there. And John Williams has a good aim, so might want to give him something else. I like snipers, one, two, three, four. I like gunners, one, two, three, four. Rangers aren't bad either, but they are a bit further at the front line. So my fundamental problem with uh, said rookie is he has very low hit points. Now, that is still okay, it's not that dramatic, but...
I think we're going to make him a ranger. How many shinobis do we really need? I mean, we're now at five, six. Do we need a seventh one? One, two, three, four, five, six in training. We need a seventh one, but uh, this guy has a lot of uh, aim and not so great hit points. So granted, X Axenrod doesn't have that either, but you get the point. Um, I still st I think the Ranger option is the better one. Okay, we're going to make him a ranger. I just convinced myself. And I know so many bonds to upgrade. <laughs> 20 hours, yeah? Okay. I would love to do it. But 20 hours are just insane. I could send a single Shinobi there and see how that goes. But even then, 20 hours to me seem a bit um, too short, even for one person. So no scientist, no dice. Hmm. We got someone recruited in uh, here. More intel. That's good. And whilst we are waiting for the next mission, Frodo can help here. And in our center, recruitment center, Synapse can help there. Good, that's where all of the recruitment is happening. No one else is hiding at the moment. Good. Three days, five hours. Enemy material. Ambush a, a troop column. That could work under the right circumstances. And troop ambush, I think, grants corpses. Let me just double check. I think that grants corpses, so that's a good one. I don't want to let it uh, just pass. Who do we have? We do have the Space Wolves available. Space Wolves do not have a Shinobi yet, so might as well do that. Space Wolves selection. Uh, you are tired, so that's a no-no. Just double checking, what do we have available? So that will be heavy if we up it we're looking at 18 4 against 18 still doesn't sound really good 5 against 20 sounds better but 
Blood Angels, Sam Sinnott Walker is part of them. Just came back from from being tired the entire time. Arc Light, on the other hand, is slightly wounded here. Hmm. Yeah, I think they also could uh, change gunners without a problem. I, I believe this here could be something. I could be up uh, on, uh, onto something. Uh, the, the extra full salvage, right? So that is worth a lot. I'm willing to spend intel in order to get full salvage. And 21 bodies are good if we go in extra, extra crispy for 33 bodies. Of course, that would be, yeah, extra crispy. But I'm not sure if um, I would want to do 33. Let's just figure out uh, the configuration first. Okay, fabulous. So with a 50% boost, we are exactly at 100%, uh, percent, and that's where we want to land. I don't know if I played extra crispy for the 33, that looks very dangerous to me. So might as well just go for the 100% and take the 21 bodies. We basically just need to kill all of uh, the available enemies. There you go. Cool. We can heal faster which is what I continue to do. And finally, the training facility. Commander, this facility will allow our soldiers to train together to improve their bonds, while also putting the knowledge they've gained in combat towards learning new abilities. Oh, so good. Look at that. We got, we got individual abilities. And you can learn all of them immediately. Cool. Very cool. The way that I would do it is, before I'm now going individually into it, let's wait until the, um, until we're fielding people and I will then just give them their respective abilities. Taxia, by the way, is already captain. That is so good. Highest ranking soldier there. And yeah, that's good. Training center, finally. We can also upgrade bonds, which will happen. But. Setting course for Indonesia. Currently, we have our hands full with many, many, many missions that we're infiltrating, uh, uh, infiltrating at the same time. Good, got a new soldier, Psy operative, and ours uh, ended up with like what, 77. Oh, that's good, that is very good. I like his look, that already looks a bit like a Psyker. I should get the mod uh, that does visual capes and stuff. People just look so awesome when they are wearing capes. Which is, I guess, why they were like superhero ish esque. Okay, uh, proving crowns. That's cool. I like it. We don't have any en engineers left over. And we do have plenty of power, so that is cool as well. Let's continue healing everyone in the meantime. Something has hit 100%. The Ultramarines here. Okay, that's good. 
are we going to go into that mission three hours until we must start oh and I remember that was a tougher one we want to make contact so the healing was wrong the healing was wrong we wanted to continue making contact The good part uh, is we almost do all of uh, the missions and on top of that we're uh, going for the HQ assault, which is great. So I like what I'm seeing and maybe we're going to do the HQ assault at 100%. At the moment we're still at swarming 2, 4, 6, 8 plus, which is 60 people. Good, can't launch that yet, but once... Once we're at 100%, uh, which is going to happen in 12 days, uh, we might want to go in. However, on the other side, maybe I don't want to do that because everybody will get reaction shots and that's really lame. So maybe we're going to go for 150% and just accept the fact that it takes a while. Okay. So... Ultramarines now need to uh, start and we're going to do that in the next episode. Operation Cosmic Skies is uh, cosmically coming closer and closer and we're going to see that total eclipse the next time when the Ultramarines are taking on the enemies. If you like this slightly uh, Warhammer 40k inspired Long War of the Chosen playthrough, and leave a comment down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.